Hi, in this video, we're going to learn masking and exclusion features. All right, so here in this project, you can see I got a person doing some kind of a stunt over here. And what we want to do is we want to mask out some portion of this image. Okay, so to do that, let's go ahead and tap on the plus icon over here and insert any shape you want. But for now, we will insert a circle. And let's go ahead and increase the size of the circle somewhat about this size. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do some masking. All right, so I'm going to tap on the circle layer over here right on the thumbnail. Okay, let's long press and you can see it has now turned into green. Now you can simply tap on the next layer that you want to mask out. So let's tap on the biker layer. So let's tap. You can see I have another layer which I have hidden it. So I'm going to be showing it to you later. But for now, we just got two layers. All right, so now you can see as soon as we have, you know, long pressed and highlighted these two layers, we got some menu options right at the top over here so first one is grouping which we have already done in our previous video the second one is masking and the third is exclusion so let's go ahead and tap on the second icon which is masking so let's tap you can see the circle has now masked out the image of the biker now you were able to see just the image which is within the diameter of the circle and anything which is outside of circle is now masked out okay it is not visible and also those two layers are now put into one single group which is called group and mask so you can tap on this and rename on the top let's go ahead and rename this file i'm going to call this as biker something like this and then if you want to edit this shape just like the group shape edit you can also edit a masking group so you can see edit group you can see those two layers inside here. All right, so I'm going to go back over here and let's go to the beginning. And what we want to do is let's do some animation. Now you can see I can move around this anywhere we want, okay, just as a single group. So let's go ahead and give some little animation. I'm going to move this guy a little forward over here and tap. And let's go a little forward. I'm going to go a little forward. You can see now we are able to you know, animate the masking group as well, just like the other groups, just like this, okay? And you can do other stuff as well. You can scale and you can, you can see here, I'm gonna go to the biker layer. Let's go ahead, tap, and let's go to move and transform. Also on the scale property, I'm gonna give a little bit of animation. Let's make this on this. I'm gonna make this smaller, something like this. And when it reaches over here, I'm gonna give some, you know, animation just like this. Okay, so we have a masking animation just like this, you can see. All right, so now let's check it out. What is an exclusion? Okay, so I've already removed that masking group and we just got the same project with the layer, biker layer, you can see one biker layer and another layer over here, which I've hidden it, which I'm gonna be showing it to you just in a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and tap on the plus icon. I'm gonna insert the same circle. Let's go ahead and scale it up a little. So let's scale it up somewhat about this size. And then let's go ahead and long press on the circle thumbnail over here. It's going to turn green. Then tap on the biker layer. Let's tap. And now let's go ahead and tap on the third icon, which is called the exclusion. So second is, first is group, and then second is masking, which we have done. And the third is exclusion. Exclusion. So let's tap on it. So you can see here, exclusion will cut out everything which is within the diameter of the circle so masking will show everything that is within the diameter of the circle or any shape and exclusion will show everything is which is outside that shape okay anything which is within that shape will be cut out so you can see actually this is a hole right now okay so you can see i have another layer over here a biker another biker if i just unhide it you can see we are now able to see that person right from this layer okay if i just hide it you can see it is a cutout because it is a gray background so if i go ahead and change the background of this project let's make it as black you can see now it's going to turn black because there is a black background okay if i turn on the layer the biker you're going to see that biker over here just like this okay so this is how you do masking and exclusion and we're going to be doing a lot of masking and exclusion throughout this course. So I'm going to see you in the next video.